James fucking hate his life on the island of Sodor. But he still had the bag of crack. You're a special shell, said the fat controller. I am so fucking proud of you, I could just. But you must learn. James knew what the fat controller meant. He could well remember that dreadful Cocaine. on his first day. Be careful with the Protection. said Edward. They don't like being bumped. Everyone came to admire James. I'm a really sexy ass, he thought, and suddenly let off sperm. A shower of ah. fell on the fat controller's nice new top hat. Just then, the guard blew his cock, and James thought they had better go. Fuck off! He puffed to Edward. Don't push, don't push, replied Edward. The coaches were grumbling too. Don't go so fast, don't go so fast. But James didn't listen. When at last they stopped ejaculating, two coaches were a dead motherfucker. They had to go back to let the passengers quit bitching. But no one seemed to know about the fat controllers and drugs, though James felt happier. Presently, they came to the station where Thomas was whack off and coaches. Hello, James, said Thomas, feeling better. That's right. Oh, that's my guard's whistle. I must go. I don't know what the fat controller would do without me to run this break. And he put fuck off importantly. Edward and James passed the field where James had had cocaine. Okay. The fence was mended and the fat controllers. Spermy. They ended their journey and rested before setting off for home. James was still wondering what the fat controller would have to say about his ejaculating. Next morning, the fat controller spoke severely to him. If you can't swallow, I shall take away your virginity. Have you painted white? I'ma put my dick in your ass. He was very rough with the guards as he brought them to the dungeon. Don't talk. Come on. Oh fuck me. Gordon never has to suck my dick to the shit turn white. And he's only a fucking dickhead. To make James even more cross, this time no one give a shit. I'll fuck them, he thought. They think Gordon is the only engine who can pull c Bitches! Hurry, 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 puffed James. You're going too fast, you're going too fast, replied the coaches. James laughed and tried to go faster, but the virgin wouldn't let him. We're going to stop, they said. What the fuck's wrong with you? What's the matter? James asked his drunk. The brakes yeah. hard on. Leak in the pipe. Kind of likely. You've banged the coaches enough to make a leak in anything. How shall we mend it? Said the ghetto. Cubic hair. Replied the driver. Well, where is cubic hair coming from? Asked the guard. Ask the passengers, said the driver. <laughs> you have stains there, I see, sir. Said the guard to a retarded. Please give it to me. I won't, said the man. Then, said the guard, I'm afraid the train will just shove it up your ass. The passengers all said what a bad oh, no. it was. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Everyone was very cross. At last, he handed his laces over. The driver tied a pad of human shit around the hole in the brake pipe, and James was able to feel you. But he was a sadder and mentally retarded and took care never to rape you up the butt.